What's up, guys? We're back. It's the touchdown tournament. Uh, this is Dunkaroo, and we are sitting pretty good. Um, and people putting up some big scores already. It'll be tough to beat. Um, we shot a 14 under in qualifying and a 28 under in the uh, opening round. Um, I don't know that there's many more strokes out there for the club setup that I've got. Um, but we're going to see what we can do. Um, so like I said, 14 under, 28 under. I took down some pretty good notes, made a couple of adjustments. And we will uh, see how that works out. So first hole is going to be that short par 4. We're going to play with the rock and a UFC ball. And so it's going to be par 4. 15% elevation change and we're going to play three back maybe 2.8 depending on the wind and go from there it's been a fun tournament i think that a lot of people have been frustrated with the low scores and i would agree with it i shot a really good round in expert and still don't really have any shot of winning the tournament so um it's been fun though. I think, you know, part of the challenge is uh, kind of learning the, the routes on your own and from previous experience um, and just kind of trying to develop a path that's going to get you as much success as, as you can get. All right, so three back, full left. And we'll see what happens with the shot. All right, no, that wasn't my shot. Uh, we settled on full overpower. 5.7 should be a good win for us. So we're gonna go three back and full left. And we're gonna put the red ring right there. And then 5.7 is gonna put us at 6.9. Excuse me, 6.1. And then we're going to go with just a little extra curl this time. And we just missed that tree. Thank goodness. I was a little worried about that. Oh, man. We almost got the hole in one. Holy cow. That's one that uh, we'll take any day of the week. <laughs> So that'll be a pretty easy eagle there. All right, hole number two, we're gonna play with the sniper and a navigator ball. Um, you don't need much more than that on this hole. I went back and watched my video and noticed that I hit two completely different shots between the opening or the front round, front nine and the back nine. And the front nine was the one that went in, so I went in, went ahead and wrote down those notes, and we'll replicate them here and hopefully have success. So we're going to bet first, so 7.2 is the wind. And we're going to put the uh, red ring right by the rough line, go one top, and 0.5 right. And we're going to find this little funnel here. And then it's basically a one-to-one -one adjustment. So we're going to go 7.2. And then we'll take our shot. Yeah, 7.2 is a big number. Um, we've been having a lot lower numbers there, so uh, that might have been the reason why we were a little far off. All right, hole three, we are going to play with a rock and a katana ball and use the sniper for the second shot. So this is a power two, and it's 10% adjustment. 
Hopefully we'll find an opponent quickly. Looks like we did the same opponent as last time. Um, I have no clue exactly where to go with the second shot. I've got some ideas, but um, nothing, uh, nothing that I feel solid about. All right, so we're at first. 7.4 is the win, so it's 7.2. So we're going to leave ourselves a little bit of space here. Go full right, full top. And we're going to adjust to 7.2. And put just a little bit of curl on it just to help it out a little bit. It's going to bounce over nicely. Um, I have kind of 325, 330 in my head, so 330 is a, a good distance for that middle distance shot. All right, second shot upcoming. I'm going to keep this at 10% as well. Uh, call it mid distance, so it's going to be 5.4 rings. You can kind of see that I'm right in that middle distance range. I don't want to put as much spin on it as I don't have to. So we're basically going to line that up right there with the hole. Let's see what this does. Still long, still to the right. So that means I need to pull back even further. So maybe we'll go 15 next time. Or maybe I'll go with a 60% slider. Um, I don't know, we'll figure out something. All right, time to bang out the big boy. Um, we are going to play with the Berserker with the extra mile. And after looking at everything, I've decided to not play with overpower. If it comes back to bite me here, then I'll end up adjusting again. But for now, we're going to play it 10% with the power five ball. And see if we can uh, get it to roll through the rough into the green and either uh, just off the green or give us that nice uh, short putt into the hole for Eagle. All right, so it looks like a really small win. Oh, 6.8, that's not too bad. We'll take that. So two top, full right, gonna aim the ball right at the second hole. And then 6.8, gonna be 3.9. And then we're gonna push our target up. We'll put about half a ball of curl on it. We've done it all week. Great rate. Let's see what this does. Hoping that it will perfect. Just what we wanted it to do, actually. That's a nice shot there. We'll take that eagle. All right, hole five. Uh, it's part three. We're going to play with the katana and the sniper. Uh, it's a 25% elevation change, and we're going to play two back and four right, uh, put the blue ring right by the bunker there, and um, I've had mixed emotions about this setup. Um, last time I, I tried it with the two back, I uh, flew the green, or flew the pin, um, so I'm not sure exactly 
what the difference was between it, except for, you know, a, a wind change and whatnot. Okay, so like I said, I've been playing this 25%. Uh, 7.4 is our win. So that's 9.2 rings. That's by far the biggest uh, one I've had all, all week. So we're going to play right there. Four. Two back. It's going to have to be more than that. It has to be three back. All right, so then 9.2. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Good shot. We had a little more right spin on it than I wanted to, just because I was so shocked at what I was dealing with. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I wasn't trying to make it a hole in one there, per se. Just trying to get that putt that we're going to get. Alright, hole six, we're going to play with the rock and the sniper. Um, going with the kingmaker ball this time, because I have not been pleased with the way i played other times. I've made it eagle every time but I haven't really had a good chance for an albatross so decided to switch to the rock and the kingmaker as opposed to trying to use the berserker or the touchdown ball uh, to get over the second fairway um, it's just been a I don't want to say a nightmare but it, I haven't really seen a, a good look at the pin um, with what we got so decided to switch it up over to the rock um, add the power three ball kingmaker in the left side spin and see what we can do from there All right, so we got 4.7 for the win so that's gonna be 4.7 on the adjustment and we're gonna go full top full left Which will still keep us short of the Looks like it'll keep us short of the line I'm just going to adjust this to 4.7. I'll put a decent amount of left spin on it, or left curl, I mean. I think it helps you uh, kind of line up better with the shot. That's going to roll down nicely, kind of in that 330 range. Alright, so zero elevation change. I'm going to play this at min distance. I'll put one back on it. Probably no side spin. Just want to get aimed up right there. So mid distance 5.1. Gonna put us at 4.1, so we're gonna play it at 4.3. Let's see what happens here. Just missed up. Really, really nice shot. I like that setup. Um, I did aim a little bit off to the right hand side because I thought the ball would slow a little bit and turn so I'll make an adjustment with that on the back nine and hopefully we can get that right in the hole. Alright hole seven we're going to play with the extra mile and hopefully the falcon and then uh, we're going to go ahead and also play with the kingmaker ball. I need to switch this over to thought I had a Saturn in there. Well, that's right. We'll just roll with the Grizzly. I like the Grizzly. 10% uh, elevation for the drive. And got my notes to get out to the plus 12 mark. And then adjust from there.
All right, so our opponent just hit the shot that I would like to see here. So 5.4 is the win. That's going to put us at a three ring adjustment. Let me put the ball at the 12 yard mark. Go full top, full right. Let me move this over to there. And then we're going to go three rings. He's just a little bit of overpower, a little bit of curl. I'm hoping to kind of be in that 340 range. Mm, I didn't get a lot of roll out of that. Three, oh, 339, we'll take that. All right, so this is kind of a tricky adjustment. It's uh, basically about three rings. Um, you can kind of see we're actually right on the edge. So 4.8 going to put us at 2.9. You're great, right? So that's not going the hole. Oh boy. Well, that's all right. We'll see if we can get a little further down next time. I didn't like the roll that I got out of that tee shot. Um, and that, that's the reason why right there. All right, hole eight, part three. Now we're going to use the sniper along with the kingmaker. And we're going to play it at 15%. We're going to play this at max distance um, with the blue ring on the back rough line. And the ball aimed at the hole. No adjustments needed. Hopefully we can uh, hit perfect. And I think we'll have a pretty good shot of going into into the green there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, so blue ring. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, blue ring on the rough line. Ball aimed at the hole. And then 5.4, 15% is 6.3. And let's see what happens with this shot. Just missed it off to the left. I don't know exactly what adjustment I would have done differently there. Um, we had everything done right. Um, sometimes they just don't go in the, in the hole. All right, so hole number nine, we're gonna play with the extra mile and the sniper along with the berserker ball. And tee shot's gonna be 10% of an adjustment. And we're gonna Kind of keep the red ring, red ring right on the rough line in overpower. And I'm trying to not use overpower if I can get somewhere around like maybe a seven or higher wind. Uh, I should not need it to clear the uh, waterway there. All right, so we got a 7.9 wind, so we're going to have no problem there. So... Uh, full top and two right with the red ring right by the line there. 7.9 is going to give us 4.6 rings. And then we're going to push up our shot.
We had great left, but I put a little bit of baby curl on it. We'll see if this helps or not. Look who's going to skirt right on by. So that was 406. Um, it should be okay in the sniper range. And then from there, we'll have to kind of adjust uh, based on how close to bin distance we are. So this one will be zero elevation change. Seven and a half is the wind. I'm gonna basically try to go back one ring. Not even that. Let me go to there. That's going to be 6.4 rings. That's a good shot. Good effort. We'll take the uh, eagle there. Finish up the front nine on at 1400. All right, hole 10, time to do them all over again. So we got the EOC ball with the rock and it's gonna be a 15% elevation change. I got a little worried with that uh, three back last time. Uh, definitely not gonna subtract if we're over on wind. Um, came in pretty hot, was lucky to hit the stick and and stop but I don't think it would roll all the way through into the rough so I'm going to continue with that three back approach it's worked all week all right we're up first 5.7 is our win that's a good win for us so it's going to be 6.1 so a red ring right by the line there full left three back And then 6.1 is our adjustment. Hit the ball perfectly. Should be A okay. And it is a very nice shot. Just barely missed the uh, hole in one there. So we'll take that for another eagle. All right, hole 11, that part three, uh, the first of the last, last three part threes of the tournament. I'm gonna play with the sniper and the navigator. We're pretty close on that shot initially um, last time. So we're gonna try to see if we can uh, make it from there. I put in my notes to take off um, a couple of points and we'll see if that's going to help or not. Alright, so we got the navigator and we're going to basically put the red ring right at the line, go one top, a little bit of right spin, make sure that we're kind of on that funnel line. And then instead of going full, I'm going to go 5.8. And it doesn't matter, we hit great right. Well, that's not going to help any. Uh, we'll take the birdie there. No, no worries.
All right, hole 12, we are going to play with the, with the rock and a katana ball. It's going to be a 10% elevation change. Um, I'm playing pretty, pretty average for the week. We're on pace for another 28 under. Um, so I haven't been able to really improve on anything. Maybe it's all the tweaking of shots that I'm doing that's not paying off as well as I would have hoped it would. So we'll keep pressing on and hopefully we can get a couple drops that we need. All right, let's see what the wind is. 7.5, which I think is what we had last time. So that is 7.3 rings. So full top, full right. And we're gonna kind of aim this Right about there, and then we we'll go seven point three rings. Put about a half a ball curl on it. Should be in a good spot right where we want to be. Actually, a little more left than we have been all week. Who knows, maybe that's the uh, meal ticket. All right, so I decided to play this with 15% adjustment. Um, we're a little bit more than mid. So I don't know exactly if this is gonna work out or not, but I'm gonna ball a little short of the hole. Kind of like that. 5.2 at mid, it's 5.3. Now let's see what happens here. Oh, we just missed it. Oh. Should have just played it one to one. 5.2. That would have been right in there. Well, on the last shot of the uh, tournament on this hole, we finally figured it out. All right, hole 13. We're going to play the extra mile with the Berserker. Two top, full right. Adjust the ball guide to the second tree and then push up. Uh, been going great right. A lot on this hole. I'm going to try to not do that this time. Uh, although great right, great right worked out really well last time. All right, eight point one is the win. I didn't set anything yet. So that's four point seven. So we're going to aim at the second tree, and then we're going to go four point seven. Push up our target and put half a ball of curl. This time we hit great left. It should be okay. Hopefully it doesn't fly it. Nope, perfect. It's gonna roll down, hit that ridge. And that should be a pretty good putt there for the uh, eagle. All right, hole 14, we're going to play with the sniper and the katana ball. It's going to be a 25% elevation change. And we're going to go two back and four right with the blue ring on the bunker line. All right, we're up first. We have a seven win. So two back, four right. Put the blue ring right on the bunker line. And then 7.0 is going to be 
just missed. It's going to roll for a little bit, but it's definitely a good setup. We've had the right setup all week. It's just been uh, just missing that hole. All right, hole 15 coming up here. And we're going to play with the Rock and the Kingmaker. Uh, I really like the way that we were set up last time. Hoping that we can reproduce that here. Um, only got four holes left in this tournament. All right, so we got the Rock and 6.5. A little bit bigger win than last time. So full top, full left. I'll bring it back just a little bit. Put the red ring right on the line there. 6.5 is going to give us 6.4 rings. And we're going to put a decent amount of left curl on it again. To roll up nicely right in that 330 range. Alright, so zero elevation change. We're going to play this at mid distance plus 0.2. That's going to be 5.4 rings. Put one ball of backspin on it. And then we're going to play on the other side this time so we've been close every time I uh, just can't quite get the albatross on this hole but we'll take the make an eagle here and move on to hole number 16 all right hole 16 we got the extra mile and the kingmaker hopefully we can get down a little further than we did last time that uh, Definitely made it so that that falcon shot was a little bit harder than I wanted it to be. Okay, so we want to be over 340. Uh, that's kind of the key. 5.9 is the win that we've got. So that is a 3.2 wind. We're going to need a little bit of overpower. Hit great left, but I did put a little curl on it, so should be okay. Three forty. It's going to be close. I would have liked to have been a little bit over to the. Uh, Right hand side a little more. Alright, so 10% downhill, we get a 5.0 win. It's going to be somewhere between 3.1 and 3.2 rings. I have to play this a little bit differently. It's going to be Max Club 3.2. I 
We got the drop. Just the drop we needed. That's awesome. That was a lot harder than some of the previous drops I've had on this hole. Just because we didn't have a full ball guide to the hole. So, uh, we'll take that though. Great shot. And we're now up to 26 under. Alright, hole 17. And we're going to play this at 15% max. Blue ring on the back rough line. Ball aimed at the hole. And see if we can get this to fall. Seems like if we uh, if we have a big wind, then we'll probably want to aim a little bit left. And if we don't have a big wind, we'll aim it right at the hole, maybe a little bit even to the right. So 15% elevation change. All right, so blue ring at the rough line. Ball aimed at the hole. Just like that. And then 5.8 is going to give us Let's see what happens with this shot. Oh, it just bounced out of the hole. Way too much power. I don't know why. That was definitely the shot. Hmm. Alright guys, we are on hole 18. Last of the tournament here in Pro. We're going to play with the extra mile with the Berserker ball. And it's going to be a 10% elevation change. I might try to get this a little bit further down and have like a uh, rough bump. Um, uh, I don't know if I have a, enough of a rough bump with a Grizzly. I probably will not try to get it further down might complicate things a little bit more but I might try the rough bump here since it's the last hole of the tournament and even with the uh, birdie we'd still get minus 28 all right we're up first 7.3 it's gonna be a 4.2 adjustment so we're going to put the red ring right there, go full top, two right, and then 4.2 rings. And then we're going to push up our target. I'm going to use just a slight amount of overpower. Good amount of roll out of it. We might be able to use the Grizzly from there. 409. We'll see. Alright, so zero elevation change. And 7.5 is our wind. Looks like we are in sniper range. We're going to give it a shot for the Albatross. Like we're kind of in mid distance there. So seven point five at mid is seven point two.
and be timed out. That was awesome. Now we're going to have to do the rough bump. Alright, 7.9, so it's going to be 7.6. A little bit of a harder shot. And we definitely overhit that. Oh, we turned this hole into a nightmare. But you know what? It was a good tournament. We had fun. Hopefully, we can uh, learn learn some things from here. Hopefully, our opponent makes this shot, so I don't have to worry about making my shot. And then we'll be good. So, thanks guys for watching. Sorry it didn't turn out the way I was hoping. And we will catch you at the next tournament.